Hello everyone. Today I have uh, this old uh, ECU S3000. Uh, it's from a Renault Megane 2 car. And I will proceed with uh, reading and writing via KT200 device. If you like the video, please subscribe and like and comment, of course. Anyway, let's proceed with opening. Uh, before I start the video, I check out fast the schematic. We have two ways of uh, reading and writing the ECU. One way it's how we can read it and the second it's how we can write it. So as you can see, the ECU I will now open for the first time. I expect it will work without any issue but who knows uh, let's see the progress how it will go let's pop up the back cover and see what we find inside Okay, and now I will check first how to remove this back cover. Check, I'm trying. I don't have anything to check. A lot of force. I see it have some double adhesive here, but I don't care about it. Okay, the board is finally out. The EEPROM to install the emulator is on this side, but I will not install any emulator. I will... Uh, proceed with reading and making the connection so I will need the flat rainbow cable I have few soldering points and I need to figure out which of them it will be the best for me so it will be one two three four Five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, one, two, here, one, two, three, four, and they have one, two, three, four. First, we will need to to make a bridge the bridge it will be from here the third position to one two three here This pinout it's uh, for reading. Okay, I will put some flux on these pins also to know where I will need to solder. Let's begin. So the first one it's the black. It's going here. <laughs> this 
this has been made I will need to to provide the power supply to the ECU power supply I will provide with multifunction cable they will get uh, a red one which is this one and the black one for the ground Keep like this Let me connect the rainbow cable. I will lift up these two. And I will connect also the multifunction cable. Power supply and switch to the computer. This is the, the pinout. I provided the plus and ground. And then I made the rainbow cable connection according to this schematic. This one, it's only for read DCCU. For write, we have a different uh, schematic. So we will need to go to BDM GTAG mode, Renaissance and AUD. Let's start, KT200. We'll select driver, BDM GTAG mode. Okay, GTAG Renaissance, let's see. Only read, I don't know which one but I can check also on the chip if I have the markings. But I will try with the first one. Let's click on the connect and provide the power. Remove and give power, mandatory to do it. As you can see, we have uh, data, we have uh, SEDGEM 3000, and let's uh, read the flash micro. I will make a new folder here, S3000, they will save uh, flash micro. Okay, again, remove and give power. If you don't follow the steps, most of the time it will, uh, it will fail. Okay, switch off the power and we have finished with the reading. Now we will proceed to, to the writing. We have a different schematic. I will uh, switch to, to video, to, to the board to make this uh, connection according to the schematic. As you can saw, the, the reading of this CCU was made uh, properly. So I will switch off the, it was switch off the power supply. And now we can remove the multi cable function. It's not needed anymore for the writing process. But I will unplug this one and then solder everything and prepare the new connection. Black it out, burn out. OK, 
Okay, now what we will need is to have a, a different connection. So it will be the second one from here as a link. Let me identify it to here. I think this one should be the first uh, correct link. Okay, then we have the second link. The second link is the first one from here, which I see it's a ground. And then we need to go to here. The second uh, link is prepared. Now we will need to add uh, three more wires. One is here. I think. Let me check. Yes. Here we will have the full white uh, cable connection. I will use this type of uh, jumper. Okay. And then I need to identify two more connections. Mm, hard. I think this one and this one, if I see correctly. Let me. I will do, I will solder wire here. And the second. It's here. Let's connect according to our requirements. I will need the full white cable, which is this one. I will need the uh, white with uh, a line, red. It's going here. And I will use the purple cable, which is going here. What else I need? I need to provide back uh, power to, to the ECU. Okay, everything seems to be connected and jumpers made accordingly. Let's switch to, to the computer to see if we are able to write. As you can see, now we have data. Open the file which we read. We can do any modification. Also the software, as you can see, it's doing the checksum. But I will want to write uh, the file back and see if it's going through the writing process without any issue. Okay, check some computer in writing. Do you want to correct it? Yes. We need to turn off and turn on mandatory because it's a boot process.
the writing process started. And now it's writing. As you can see, um, we was able to, to write it. Now we can remove everything, turn off the power. Okay, clean fast where I had put uh, flux. Even if it's a no clean flux, I will clean it. 